The Icon system is actually two different products. One is used for treating smooth surfaces and the other for proximal lesions. Case selection is critical for success with Icon. Icon is indicated for the treatment of caries lesions, those lesions associated with demineralization from bacteria and plaque, and not lesions resulting from fluorosis, hypoplasia, erosion, trauma, or developmental lesions. For the smooth surface anterior lesions, white spots can be removed in one office visit with the Icon method. Often, after completion of orthodontic treatment and removal of brackets and bands, the patient is left with demineralized white spots, which are not only aesthetically undesirable, but which can lead to further progression of these caries lesions. The ICON technique can not only halt the progression of lesions, but can restore the natural aesthetically desirable appearance of the tooth. White spots on the smooth surfaces of teeth after orthodontic treatment present in various forms and appearances that are within a range. Mild forms will present as wispy, cloud-like patterns that are somewhat translucent in appearance. Over time, as the surface layer continues to remineralize over the lesion, they become more advanced and may appear solidly opaque and may exhibit a solid and dense white appearance. Icon can effectively be used for both the early stage and advanced lesions. Since the early stage wispy type lesions are the easiest to differentiate from developmental lesions, we will concentrate on those for this evaluation. Before we proceed further, let's review the components of the Icon Smooth Surface Kit you have received. The Icon Smooth Surface Mini Kit contains the following. A complete set of instructions for use. Two patient packs, each including one syringe of Icon Etch, one syringe of Icon Dry, one syringe of Icon Infiltrant, six smooth surface tips. You will note that a second set of basic instructions for use is printed just beneath the cover of the kit for easy reference. These are good as a refresher after you are familiar with the procedure. We recommend that you follow the full instructions for use until you are comfortable with the steps. It is vital to the success of the treatment that all application times are adhered to strictly. There are no shortcuts. Each patient pack contains sufficient material for the treatment of two to three lesions on smooth surfaces and is designed to be used on one patient. If required, multiple lesions can be treated at the same time. To begin treatment of a white spot on a smooth surface, the tooth should be cleaned with pumice and then isolated with a rubber dam. The rubber dam should be well adapted and inverted at the gingival area. Do not use rubber dams made of thermoplastic elastomers such as FlexiDam. An Icon smooth surface tip is screwed onto the Icon etch syringe. Apply the Icon etch to the tooth surface by turning the syringe shaft carefully onto the lesion site and let it sit for two minutes. The Icon etch should be extended about two millimeters beyond the lesion's margins. Care should be taken not to allow the acid to flow onto the gingival tissues or onto non-treated tooth surfaces. Excess etchant can be removed with a cotton roll. At the end of the two minutes, the acid is gently rinsed from the surface with water spray for 30 seconds, and then dry with oil-free and water-free air for 15 seconds. A second two-minute etch step is then indicated. The same applicator tip can be used again. Then, in order to allow for the complete desiccation of the enamel and to maximize penetration of the Icon resin material, an ethanol solution, Icon Dry, is applied for 30 seconds over the entire treated surface. This is accomplished by screwing on the needle applicator to the Icon Dry syringe and extruding a few drops of ethanol onto the lesion. While the ethanol solution is present within the lesion, there is an opportunity to preview how the lesion will appear after the infiltration. During the first few seconds after application of the ethanol, there should be a change in the appearance of the lesion. The lesion should fade and produce a satisfactory aesthetic appearance. When this occurs, you may proceed with the subsequent infiltration steps. However, 
Should any whitish or opaque areas remain within the margins of the lesion, a subsequent third etching step of two minutes can and should be undertaken, followed by another treatment of the icon dry, which is necessary for the capillary action of the infiltrant to occur. Thoroughly dry the lesion with oil-free and water-free air for 15 seconds. It is recommended at this point to turn off or redirect the operatory light as to not prematurely cure the material. Place a new smooth surface applicator tip onto the syringe of Icon Infiltrant. The resin is extruded from the applicator tip two millimeters beyond the margins of the lesion. The infiltrant is allowed to sit over the three minute period while the resin penetrates into the affected area via capillary action. Be sure that the lesion surface appears wet at all times during the three minute infiltration. If necessary, apply additional infiltrant to ensure that the entire surface remains wet. Following the infiltration step, excess material shall be wiped off with a cotton roll. Additionally, be sure to clean the contacts of adjacent teeth with floss to avoid bonding teeth with excess resin. Then, the resin infiltrant is light cured for a period of 40 seconds. Place a new applicator tip onto the Icon Infiltrant syringe. Then apply a second application of the Icon resin material for a one minute period. This is in order to fully treat the surface and to allow maximum penetration of the Icon material. Again, remove excess resin with a cotton roll and clean interproximal areas with dental floss. The surface is then again light cured for 40 seconds. The treatment is concluded by lightly polishing the treated surface with a fine grit polishing point or a rubber cup. Since the tooth is quite dehydrated, it is recommended to thoroughly rinse with water. Results will continue to improve for up to 48 hours as the tooth continues to hydrate.